With a change in seasons comes harvest time for farmers all across the state. A dry spell and hot weather added to farmers' worries this past growing season. But according to the latest Minnesota Crop Progress and Condition Report, all may not be lost. Soybeans are starting to come out and are over a week ahead of the five-year average. Rachel Mills rode along today with a local farmer and found some optimism. Ben Storm, a farmer in Dover, is a fourth-generation farmer. My grandpa actually bought this farm that we are on right now, and Dad bought it from him, and since I have bought it from him. Storm farms 1,500 acres of corn and soybeans every year. With all that crop to harvest, he even put me to work. Whoa. Can I go faster? Yep. Right now, Storm is harvesting the soybeans. He says the corn still has a few weeks, and even though we had a dry summer, he says his crops are doing all right. We got very timely rains that I think really made our crop what it is. We got done combining a field yesterday that was probably the best beans I've raised on it. But his hopes weren't always high this year. There's some sleepless nights when it got really dry this summer, especially when it was 90 some degrees in June and the corn was all shriveled up. Storm says it's getting harder and harder to support a family in farming, especially since equipment like this combine can cost up to half a million dollars. It takes a lot more acres today to support a family than it did, you know, when my dad started farming. Which means many farmers only work in the fields part time and we're seeing less family farms. Between my dad and his brothers, there's four of them that farmed, and out of all those grandkids, I'm the only one that farms. On top of these challenges, pandemic related supply shortages made it difficult for farmers to get the parts they need for their equipment. Storm's wife Natalie owns a massage business to help support their family of six. No, on my birthday, I can So a good yield means fewer worries for Storm and his family. In Dover, Rachel Mills, ABC6 News. And Rachel